today's topic will be about sculpting blender or zbrush or any 3d sculpting software i guess you could say we want to ask the question or we want to answer the question do you need a tablet does digital sculpting require a tablet there are different ways how you can use blender sculpting to answer the question we will do two sculpts we will create the same character one time for the mouse and one time for the tablet the challenge is basically to create the same character in the same amount of time so well, we will not only check what the quality will look like for the character after these two hours we will also see how fast we were we will see how i guess comfortable it was you know it could be pretty straining to use the mouse maybe not we'll see and then um we'll also kind of I guess compare the two in how they work the workflow basically i'm using the wacom into us art or draw they're not available anymore or the ones that i have the model um i would have the medium size probably not the small one not the big one but the medium size so mine's pretty old still already but if you want to get probably the sim most similar tablet you would probably get the wacom into us not with the display but just the tablet i guess so here are my, I guess, um, expectations for this challenge or this, this, I guess, check or this test experiment, whatever. I think as first of all, it's going to be more straining on my hand when I use the mouse. It's going to be slower when I use the mouse just because of pressure sensitivity and, and smaller adjustments. Um, and also probably not because, just because I'm not really super useful use to using a mouse. I'm probably also not going to be as precise as I can be with a mouse. I mean, with a tablet. Um, but I think overall, the quality will not differ too much. That would be my prediction. We'll see how it's going to look at how it's going to look when we're comparing the two. We're going to give it two hours. This is the character. Not this dragon, but her basically doing like a, I guess, kissing phase. I try to actually include hair and the horns as well. Uh, maybe some clothing. We'll see how far we can get though in these two hours. I'm not only going to use this as a reference. I have some like real life references you could say that I'm going to use as well. Okay, so voiceover Nogi here. The first one we're going to look at is the mouse sculpt. As per usual, whether or not you use a tablet or a mouse, the workflow doesn't really change. You know how you build your character, whether or not it's going from the skull up. Then going adding the muscles or you know you immediately sculpt the entire shape of the head the workflow doesn't really change that much it was a little bit slower because of the acclimation period i wasn't really used to you know mouse sculpting so i needed to acclimate to it but it didn't take that long to really acclimate to it and then it was basically similar to how i would work with a tablet it definitely feels more mechanical though it's not as dynamic i would call it uh comparing it to the you know pen for example using the tablet the pen is very you know light and you can just hold it in your hand you can swing your brush basically with the pen that is not really possible or at least i didn't really get the feel that you can do it with a mouse a mouse feels more mechanical you have to kind of plan your brushes beforehand you have to click manually every time and you have to move your mouse every time and of course if you do a lot of sculpting with a mouse you can probably imagine with every brush stroke you have to click your fingers get pretty strained afterwards um, i definitely felt it you know the strain it's definitely different compared to the tablet where you don't really have that necessarily let me give you three tips though if you use a mouse for sculpting the first tip that i think is very helpful if you use a mouse for sculpting is use a lower strength so if you sculpt with a mouse you can't really use sensitivity to control the strength of your brush so one thing that i would do in this sculpt which you know might not be the best way to do it but i did it that way and i found it very found it to be very helpful is i lowered my strength on which i usually would sculpt this way i just had a little bit more time to think about what i want to do and i could correct mistakes easier and to kind of you know still get that effect of putting on for example volume quite fast the second tip goes in or comes in quite handy activating accumulate helps you in putting down volume very quickly so combining these two tips should help you in you know having a lot of control with your mouse over your brush strokes which you'll still be able to put down and change the geometry quite quickly and then one more thing um, which is i think very helpful 
especially to kind of reduce the strain that you put on your fingers, is just to use as many shortcuts as possible. Try to allocate as many functions to your keyboard instead of your mouse clicks as possible. You don't want to click every single brush to switch the brush. You can give every single brush a shortcut. The basic shortcut for brush strength and brush size are already there, so you don't really need to change those manually with a mouse. But give your brushes a shortcut. That'll help you a lot. Your workflow will be quicker and yeah, it'll just, you know, save you some some strainage, some strain on your fingers. It'll just make it a little bit more, you know, easier on your fingers. Well, there's one more thing before we go to the second scope, to the, the tablet scoped, that we need to keep in mind, which is now that I scoped the first one, I kind of know what I want to do now. I kind of know the design, the workflow, how I want to construct the character, the character's face. It'll be a little bit easier for the tablet. Uh, I don't really need to think too much about how I want to design, for example, what the nose should look like for the character, what the eyes should look like. I already know that because of the first scoped. So there's going to be a slight advantage in the comparison between the scoped and the mouse for the tablet just because I already kind of know the workflow now after sculpting with a mouse so it'll probably be a little bit easier for the tablet. Going into the tablet um, it felt way more comfortable of course because I'm you know I've been using tablets for for quite a while now so it definitely feels you know I feel just feel more comfortable sculpting with a tablet which also meant of course because I'm that I'm faster I can you know think more about what I want to do how I want to construct the face and how I want to what I want to do next, my, what, what my next move will be. Um, I can do that instead of having to think about how I now use my pen on this tablet. You know, I already know how that works, so I don't really have to think about it too much. One thing, of course, the big advantage to the mouse, of course, is the pressure sensitivity. You can even set your pressure all the way to one, and you can still you can still use the brush on a very low strength, basically, just because of your pressure sensitivity. That is, of course, the big advantage of using a, a tablet besides, or of course, kind of having more freedom and it being more, more dynamic. You can, you know, move your pen quicker. You don't have to click every time. You just have to put your pen on the tablet. Um, it first of all feels more fluid and of course the pressure sensitivity is a big plus. Next up, it's not really that straining of course because you just have to hold the pen and putting your pen on the tablet basically activates or uses the brush which is way more, way easier and maybe even faster compared to using a mouse. So yeah, you can, you can just, you know, work a little bit more freely, a little bit easier and it feels a little more fluid. Maybe that could be because of I'm biased because I've been using tablets for so long now. Uh, maybe you can, you know, get a certain fluidity going as well using a mouse. But for me, it felt easier using the tablet. I have two tips though for the tablet. If you use a tablet, don't use the brush size pressure sensitivity because if you use the brush size pressure sensitivity, a long word, the cursor don't really, doesn't really show you how big the brush actually is. Maybe that's a certain setting, but when I use my brush size print pressure sensitivity, the cursor always stays the same size, but what it actually does is if you put a certain pressure on your brush, it'll be bigger or smaller. The problem is the cursor doesn't really you know, reflect that. You, the cursor will always be the same size. You know, it's just easier to always see how big the cursor is because that just makes it more, it makes it easier to see how much volume you're actually putting on the surface. And then the next one, the second tip would be to use a shortcut for brushes, strength and the brush size. Using shortcuts is always the best to just speed up your workflow, whether it is for brush strength, brush size or the brushes. There could probably be even more like retopology or enabling dynamic topology, but those are the basics. You know, activating those and using shortcuts for all these functions makes it way easier and way quicker for you to work in the scope mode. So to compare the two, here are the end results. It is definitely, you know, both have pros and cons. The tablet, tablet, of course, you have to think about, you have to spend extra money to get. There are some advantages to the tablet, like pressure sensitivity. It's more ergonomic. The fluidity of your workflow can be a little bit better. I think those are big pluses for the tablet. It also just feels like you're actually sculpting instead of just clicking on. You, you can actually feel like as if you're like scraping over the surface, which is, I think, a big plus as well. The only real technical difference is the sensitivity and maybe the buttons on the tablet you might have some more buttons on the tablet but in general you only really you know the only big difference that the mouse doesn't have would be the pressure sensitivity um, and if you you know if you like having that then i think a tablet is definitely the, the go-to choice if you want to buy one i would say the end results are equal when you acclimate it to your 
tool of choice whether you like using a mouse or you want to use a tablet i think once you kind of you know got used to the workflow of either i think you can achieve basically the same results the only i mean i think the biggest difference next to the sensitivity on the tablet would be the ergonomacy it'll keep your fingers healthy for longer if you use a tablet tablets don't require you to click so you don't put as much strain on your fingers as if you would use a mouse for example overall they're ultimately just tools you're the one that needs to you know have the skills and sculpt tablets will make you better a mouse will make you better all that really matters is you know your knowledge and what you can put down or how you can shape your sculpt into awesome characters for example maybe that helps you in deciding whether or not you want to buy a tablet or not if you like the video feel free to give it a like if you didn't like it feel free to give it a dislike and tell me in the comments why if you have any more questions you can put them in the comments if you want to join one of my live streams for example where we did this experiment you can join my live channel the link should be in the description you can also join the discord if you want to get some personal feedback on your artwork the link should also be in the description I hope you have a great day and maybe I'll see you next time. See ya.